much more. Welcome back to Slap for Slackers, the segment where we open up classic Yu-Gi-Oh! GX packs, build decks, and duel. This is episode 4 where we'll be opening Shadow of Infinity, the set that introduced the three sacred beasts, Raviel, Haman, and Uriah. Plus, powerful new ritual monsters like Demise King of Armageddon and the new removal trap card, Karma Cut. And, by popular request, and to save our poor wallets from the price of classic Yu-Gi-Oh cards, we'll be using Wygo Prague, a site that lets you simulate pack openings, store your cards, and build decks with them. Then, we'll play using Yu-Gi-Oh Master Duel. So, drop a like, subscribe, and let the class begin. Okay, so here we are on Wygo Prague. I'm going to get all my packs opened up. Uh, we're gonna be using this website to simulate pack openings. It's really great, you can see they've got all the packs here, and all I have to do is go to Shadows of Infinity and type in how many I want. Now that we're using a uh, pack opening simulator, we figured it would probably be better to just, you know, have more packs available to us. So we're gonna be opening two boxes each. That's 48 packs. We just uh, hit 48 here. It shows up here on the side. I hit open packs and we see what we get. So I can flip these cards around and it'll just show me like this is what I pulled in this uh, particular pack, but obviously I have 48 of these to go through. I am not going to waste you guys' time with all of it because I can just hit open all remaining packs and then it'll show me exactly what it is that I got. So uh, I actually pulled two ultimate rares, Demise, King of Armageddon, and an ultimate rare proto Sacred Dragon. I don't know how much that's going to help me. Uh, two Raviel, Lord of Phantasms. I don't really know that I'll be able to use this. I mean, I would argue it's actually the easiest of the uh, Sacred Beasts to use though, because it just takes fiends. And then Cyber Barrier Dragon Super, Divine Dragon Excelion. Oh, you have to have extra copies of this in your graveyard, interesting. And then Rune Queen of Oblivion. Okay, and then I also got a bunch of rares, some pretty cool stuff. I'm really happy with this Karma Cut actually, that's gonna be probably one of the more useful cards in this challenge. Um, also some other highlights, Malfunction negates a trap and returns it to its original position. And Goblin out of the Frying Pan, which is okay, it negates a spell, but the problem is most of these spells are not, like spells in this era of Yu-Gi-Oh were not hard once per turns. So negating a spell and returning it to the owner's hand means that they'll just replay it. Unless it's like a spell with a really steep cost, perhaps it could be useful there. Um, but like otherwise, no. Uh, and then we get all these different commons. So, uh, already off the bat, this is not the best set. You guys can probably tell. I've actually seen a few of these cards from opening the Duelist Pack Zane that we did in episode three. So all I gotta do is save this to my Slifer Slackers binder. Just hit save. And now I can go over to my binder and it'll actually show all the different cards I have from all the different sets. I can go through these and then hop in the deck builder. You guys have probably seen this site, but this is just for those of you who haven't. So here I've got my deck that I played as of the end of last episode. Awkward cards and all, like the Proto Cyber Dragons, the Attack Reflector units, the uh, uh, Photon Generator unit, and these god-awful things. So Cyber Laser Dragon and Cyber Barrier Dragon. Thankfully, I can actually add in some new stuff and it's pretty easy to do. Let's see, I think I can actually search just by set so I can see all my cards from Shadow of Infinity. That's what we're opening this time. And I can just add them into my deck uh, straight through this menu. I already know, just off the bat, there's a lot of stuff that I want out of here. I do not want Cyber Barrier Dragon anymore. It's garbage. I do not want actually any of those things. So I don't want Cyber Laser Dragon. As we found out, way, way, way too awkward to actually use. They just, they really don't work out. Let's see, what all can I put together with just this? So let's take a look at these cards. So what, what new stuff we've got. I've got Adhesive Explosive. What's this do? Four damage calculation if it was attacked and was in face down defense position at the start of the damage step. Equip it to the attacking monster and then during the opponent's next standby phase, destroy the monster that it's equipped to. This will be pretty useful, I think. I'm gonna go ahead and add at least two in here. Might actually go with three because I have three copies. I could use Goki Bonds just like run three of them. When they die, I can search more copies of them, although it would be great if I could summon them to the field, not just have them in my hand, and then eventually get enough material to banish for Doomdozer, and that could like be a thing, I don't know. I mean, it's probably not really gonna work, but 
Uh, if I pull more insects, it's a strategy to keep in mind. So I had Luster Dragon number two in my deck, um, but I think that Saber Beetle, Saber Beetle I think will be a good replacement to Luster Dragon number two. It actually has the piercing effect, um, whereas Luster Dragon number two has nothing, so I will take it out. I guess like two Saber Beetles. I'm always really wary about these like tribute monsters, but I do want to have enough that I can actually see it, so I'll just run two, because I don't think there's going to be any other useful tribute cards. I got Demise, King of Armageddon, and I got Ruin, Queen of Oblivion. And I actually think that these could be like playable cards. They're both level eight, so I'm gonna need some, uh, I'm gonna need their ritual spell, which I'm pretty sure I pulled that. I wanna try these out. So we're gonna throw them in here. I know I'm gonna regret this. Let me just make sure right now if we actually have, okay, yeah, we have into the world. Maybe this could work. Okay, I've got an idea. It's gonna sound crazy, but because they're both level eight, and Doomdozer is level eight. I feel like there could maybe be a world. Plan would be use Doomdozer with these awful insects. And then in theory, if it's dead, I can use it as ritual fodder for these guys or guy and girl. And like, it might work. We just need better insects. And all we have is Goki Pond. So we can check all the insects that we have just in the series so far. So there is Saber Beetle, but there's not really any other good like old insects of mine. Millennium Scorpion. I think I ran this in the first episode and like it was good, but it's also level five and I'm not about to like load up on high level monsters. Malfunction is the first trap that I'm thinking could like definitely be worthwhile. Negates a trap, returns it to its original position, and that means that the trap can't be used again that turn because it's set again. At least I believe that's how it works. So, um, this could be useful. I mean, it could stop some traps. Arma cut, though. That's definitely something I'm adding two of into this deck. I don't want to add three because I feel like I'm not going to really have the discard fodder for that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, this is great. Discard a card, target one of my opponent's monsters, and banish it. And I also banish all cards with the same name from my opponent's graveyard. So that can be pretty useful. Um, it's interesting, I guess they released this in the same set where they have all those other cards that are about having multiple names. So like I could use this to stop, um, what's his name? Like in theory, if you were playing this and drafting with your friend, you could use it to stop Chain Thrasher, let's say. It could be like a whole thing. Uh, but I'm just gonna be using it for removal. This could be pretty useful. I think what I'll do though, is I'll wait until I've seen more of his deck today, like in this episode. And if it looks like he's like really doubling down on the hero strategy, then I could use success probability and like, you know, there could be like a thing here. Like this could actually be like a sort of tech card to get rid of some heroes. I wish that I could actually look at the extra deck and pick which ones I, that he loses. Okay, so really, I gotta say this set's a little underwhelming. I mean, it's basically Karma Cut. I think Adhesive Explosive will be one of the better cards to, to use. And um, I'm gonna try this Ruin and Demise strategy. There's just not enough insects to commit to the insect thing. And I really want to do that, but I just know that Goki Pond and stuff isn't gonna, like that's way too passive of a strategy. Just setting these and letting them get destroyed isn't gonna really cut it. Now I just gotta cut a few cards out. I think I'm gonna get off of this Cyber Dragon strategy, at least for now. I think I'll technically be getting another shot at pulling more, maybe some more Cyber Dragon cars in the future. But right now I just don't think it's worth it to run three of these proto cybers. I can drop lunar removal, don't have enough machines anymore. Keeping Cyber Phoenix, cause it does get a draw if it gets destroyed by battle. So like all of these sort of floaty, just utility machines like Steam Roid, Roar Roid, and Cyber Phoenix can still stay. You know, now that I think about it, I do actually have enough machines still in this deck that Limit Removal could still be worth it. Oh man, I don't I have to only really use this if I'm gonna be like killing my opponent that turn. So still think it's a little bit risky, maybe not, never mind. All right, well, I think this is gonna be pretty much as good as it gets for my deck, at least for now. Um, I mean, like, I, I'm really, really not feeling this ritual strategy, and I honestly, in hindsight, think it's probably just not worth the trouble. But we'll try it, if only just for this one episode, and if it comes up, and these guys end up being useful, then good, and if they don't, well, we know what to take out. All right, guys, so for this episode of Slap for Slackers, we are opening up Shadow of Infinity. I have to add 36 cards. No, 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 that's a lie, it's 48. 48 packs of Shazam Fanny and hit open packs. We're digital now, so this doesn't matter as much, but I did get three OTs, one Ruined Queen of Obliv Oblivion, a Malfunction the Counter Trap, and a BES Covered Core. Not bad. 
uh, two, oh, I got two of the Sacred Beasts, Raviel and Haman. Um, not sure if I can use these. I mean, there might be a way where I can use Haman, but Raviel, yikes. Um, we got Demise and Ruin. And I know I pulled at least one ritual spell, so there could be something there. Ancient Gear Castle, two of them. If I had Ancient Gears, this is actually the best Ancient Gear support at the time. So I got three Treeborn Frogs, and I'm playing like a Frog Narc kind of deck. That could be fire. Doom Dozer, you can banish two insects to summon it. That's actually not bad for a 2800 attack monster. Adhesive Explosive, this is like a bad like Blast Sphere essentially. Four damage calculation this card was attack. Yeah, it's a bad Blast Sphere when it delays the destruction. Okay, so Chain Thrasher. Attacks more for the more copies you have. It only has a thousand attacks, that's bad, but let's keep moving. Uh, Disciple the Forbidden Spell. Once they copy you, can get, get in a grave. That's that's useful. Oki Pond, I don't see it being useful for what we're doing here. It can search itself, though. I don't know. We're going to come back to the Oki Pond. Grass Phantom also wants that. Ooh, these cards are bad. These cards are horrible. Guys, just bear with me. I'm just trying to see if there's something funny we can do with this deck. If not, I'm going right back to Heroes because that'll at least. That'll work at 39 cards. 39 bad, horrible, no good, messed up cards. You know what? I'm not doing this to myself, guys. I'm not doing this. No. I will, I'm gonna save this because I might revisit this idea later. I just don't feel good about it. I really don't. I'm gonna retreat back to heroes for now. <laughs> All right, guys, we are in Master Duel and I'm gonna do my best to actually create my um, my deck from Wago Prog here. All right, um, so the first thing I need to do is get my elemental heroes together. Okay, now spells. I need Fisher, one heavy storm, a fusion sage, two of those. Got that, got that. Right, so this is my Slifer Slackers list for this episode. Uh, Shadow of Infinity style. And let's get to the game. Honkai Star Rail is a free cross-platform RPG made by Hoyoverse, the makers of Genshin Impact. Enjoy Honkai's strategic turn-based combat as you embark on an interstellar journey as a member of the Astral Express. With over 30 unique characters, explore the universe solving puzzles, opening chests, and unlocking the secrets of this world. Speaking of unique characters, check out Huo Hua, a new limited 5-star character. She's introverted and easily frightened, but her tale does not have the same issues. Trailblazers who pull for her are sure to benefit from her healing and attack and energy buffing abilities. Also coming soon is Argenti, a dashing and aloof gentleman. He wields his spear with all the gallantry you'd expect and deals AoE damage with Rose special effects. Honkai's 1.5 update rolls out soon, and you'll be able to go on ghost busting missions with Gunaifen and Huohua, try out the four star character Hanya, a physical type character who can restore their allies' skill points, experience the new map, the Fike Stroll Garden, get another chance to pull Silver Wolf of the Stellaron Hunters, and if you log in for seven days, you'll earn 10 free pulls. Download Honkai Star Rail today by using the link in the description and use the redemption code to get 50 Stellar Jades. Thanks again to Honkai Star Rail for sponsoring today's video. All right, Slacker, are you ready to duel? I was born ready to take your card. I have made some modifications to my deck, and I'm trying out some exciting new things that I hope that you and the viewers at home won't blame me for when they go wrong. I've done a few things, and okay. I'm probably so, not going to do great. I'm going to be going second in this duel, because since we're playing with what? I hit go second, and Magical made me go first. Okay, I'm going first in this duel. And yeah, going first in Master Duel, you don't get to draw. Yeah, we're playing Master Duel rules, so that means, uh, you know, that's just one of those things that's gonna suck. All right, well, my new strategy, <clears throat> well, hopefully they'll get to see it. I will start by hopefully. setting a monster face down like I learned in class and ending my turn. Let's see what I'll draw, because I get to do that. Yeah, must be nice. It, 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 it is, I, I can't lie, it is nice. Yeah, I imagine. All right. Let's see, a face down monster, huh? A face down monster. What are you gonna do about it, huh, Duelist? Could it be a monster with 2,500 defense? Could it be a, a floaty card that you no, may or may not know about? No, summon Avion. Okay, well, he doesn't care. We're gonna test it out with my 1,000 attack. All right, you attack my oh. Goki Bond. So um, when it's destroyed, I get an insect with 1,500 <laughs> or less attack from my deck to my hand. 
I'm gonna get another Goki Bond. Yay! Guys, what is he doing? Yeah, that's my that's my new uh, the newest addition to my deck. You'll see soon. Main phase two. I'll set a card five face down and activate Fusion Sage. What the heck? Oh, oh. I have a polymerization in my hand. I forgot about that card. Fusion Sage is Surge's Poly. You I search, guess, I search. Was King of the Swamp out at this time? I wonder. I don't remember. Probably not. Right, it came up before this. I don't know. Okay. So I already see an issue in my deck, but- He can't get over Avion. <laughs> that's okay because- Avion wall, boys. I set another card face down. <laughs> what are you doing? And end my turn. Who knows what it could be? It could be anything, Duelist. Anything at all. Uh, yeah, that's fine, I guess. I'll activate. What do you have? You're gonna use Polly? You're gonna summon a fusion monster? That's what GX is all about, nope. Duelist. It's Skyscraper! Okay. Well, you, trust me, you won't yeah, need, I mean, you will not need that against uh, um, my monsters. Let's see, another Gokipon, okay. Yeah, all right, Gokipon effect. So it gets uh, my final Gokipon to my hand. Are you scared yet, Duelist? Do it, you have done a lot of filtering. Yeah, I have really thinned my deck out, and um, that was in um, deck thinning 101. I remember that class. Yeah, yeah, we took deck thinning 101. Have you taken um, effect negation 101? I summon Cyber Phoenix. Nah, it negates I that. effects that target machines. That's all it does. Oh. Enter battle phase. Cyber Phoenix attacks Avion. 200 damage. First damage, I win. And you activate my trap card. What the heck? What's that? Hero Signal! So it summons a uh, hero oh, from your deck. Special summon a hero from my deck. Thank goodness uh, Stratos summon. isn't out. Can we just talk about that? Not thank goodness. I wish Stratos was here. Clayman! Okay, well, I have to end my turn. So, sucks, but you know, things be like that. They do. It be. Maybe if you want, you can just attack my Cyber Phoenix, let me draw a card, and we can be happy. Deal? Deal. Okay, cool, cool. Let's do that. I activate Polymerization! What? What are you doing? Let's make Clayman and Sparkman. Hey, you were supposed to four. attack my monster. Elemental Hero, Thunder Giant. Okay, well that sucks. Well no, I can't use my effects because I have to target your monster. He can't negate monster effects. What? He only negates spell and traps. I shouldn't have told you that, but... Wow. That's a shame. Oh well! Activate his effect. Let's pitch this tribute to the Doom, so I don't want to start anything anyway. Goodbye. No! Cyber Phoenix doesn't get me a draw now. Now I'll attack you directly. Okay, well, you know what? Screw you, duelist. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I. it's okay. I draw. Um, all right. It's time to kick in my strategy. I banish my two Goki Pawns from my graveyard to special summon Doom Dozer in attack mode. I summon him by what? banishing two insects. I didn't think I was gonna get this combo, but I did, and he has 2,800 attack, and he's about to... Ooh, we're just filtering Goki Pond, so... I'm going to ram this insect into your Thunder Giant. No! Oh, come on, bro! Compulse! Bro, dude, I don't have enough insects to trigger that again. You know that, right? That's why I did it. <laughs> <laughs> Asshole, okay. Well, uh, this is a little problematic. It can't be that bad. You got mad cards in hand. Set. Pass. I don't think you understand. All right. I, the, the engine to summon the Doom Dozer is three Goki Bomb. I won't get to summon him again, unless I guess. Wait, are you not running any more insects? <laughs> well, none that I have, but like. Wow. Yeah, this Goku can't even search. Look, a Goku pond. Yeah, I don't have another target. Oh my god. <laughs> You're the one who did this. You, you just had to not attack my Cyber Phoenix. I didn't know what you were up to. I figured you'd summon <laughs> it again. But... <laughs> okay, well. My plan was to use Skyscraper to swing over it when you summoned it again, but I, I guess that just wasn't the case here. This is trouble. Oh, wait. Okay, I haven't, wait. Could this, will this work? <gasps> this could work. Okay, activate Monster Reincarnation. I have to discard a card. Okay. I discard Saber Beetle to add That's a bug. Oh, wait, Cyber have... Phoenix back to my hand. Ah, uh, See, and you said you couldn't do it. Which now means I've got two insects in my graveyard to banish, because there was no other way this was going to work, and summon Doom Dozer again. This is going to hurt. Next, I summon Cyber Phoenix, just because, you know. 
All right, Doomdozer enters battle phase. Goodbye, Thunder Giant. And you send a card from the top of your deck to the graveyard. Oh, you milled my boomerang. I can't get that back now. It's just gone. Although I don't think you were really planning on using it. I was, eventually. All right, I'm going to set one card. All right, guys. I am in a spot. Your move. I summoned Doomdozer twice. I have already exceeded expectations. All right, that does not help. No, it does not. Uh, I'll set and I will pass. Okay, setting a monster, are we? I draw one card. Oh, that would be useful, but never mind. It actually kind of sucks. Enter battle phase, duelist. Doomdozer attack. attack with the weakest one. Ah, well, too late. Rottweiler effect! Rottweiler. Oh, yeah, okay. So what's he so doing? So I can add an elemental hero and a polymerization from my graveyard to my hand. As much as I want to send this Must Thunder be nice. Giant back, I really need monsters. So let's just get... Man. All right, I got more cards now. I have cards. Very rude. They're not good cards, but I have cards. All right, well, I have Torbjorn to attack for you. Okay, your move, duel. All right, draw. You know it's old school Yu-Gi-Oh because we're on turn twelve, and like neither of us have lost half our life points. And now summon. That might be changing. Spark soon. Man. Very cool, but not strong enough to deal with Doomdozer, even with your Skyscraper That's effect. enough to kill your Cyber Phoenix. Attack, Sparkman. That is true. I take 400, but Cyber Phoenix main. lets me draw, so I'm going to draw a card. I'm going to main phase two and, and activate Fisher. Wow! Okay, look, dude. Bye-bye. Nah, it's not coming back. It's going now. It's going Asshole. Now. Doomdozer didn't get to do anything. Well, you got to attack, so I'll it's set. okay. And I got to send your boomerang One to the grave. Uh, luckily, I didn't see Wild Heart yet. Thank God. I'd have been very salty if I actually <laughs> had planned to use it. Wow, my draws are almost like taunting me. Okay, I will... Oh, God, this is a tricky, tricky situation. Okay, I'm going to activate my Dust Tornado, and we're going to... feeling there be a dust. We're going to destroy your face down. Wow, okay. That was a bluff, was it? Just, if it was a dust tornado, I wanted it gone now. All right, we're going to summon Chiron the Mage. Ooh. And enter the battle phase and attack you. You could have destroyed my spell with Chiron's effect. I could, but I'm going to use him to destroy something else. Uh... Chiron effect, discard, ruthless denial, because I don't think I'm going to get to use that. And destroy your skyscraper, so no comebacksies for you. Oh, I, I always come back. Draw! Nah, not too useful, actually. Hope you have what it takes to deal with my 1800 attack point Chiron the Mage that can discard a specifically a I spell. Oh, okay, this will help. This will help much indeed. I'm just waiting to get cards back, and when I do, oh boy. All right, you know what? We're just gonna we're gonna enter battle phase and attack with Chiron. Of course, it's freaking Aha! Clayman. Big body Clayman. Uh, uh, fine, I end my turn. I draw. Oh, that's cool. You know how I love getting cards back to my hand, huh? I do. Activate Dark Factory. Oh, yeah, that's uh, what? You get back, like, uh... I can get back my uh, two normal monsters. So let's get Sparkman and Clayman. Cool. Do you have another Thunder Giant? Apparently, no. I really, I'm kicking, kicking myself for not having put it back into the graveyard with the Rottweiler. I just didn't think it would be, it would come in handy so soon. Yeah, I mean, I guess maybe we could like make a little rule where like if you have fusions, you should just be able to like duplicate them to three for next time. That'd be fun. Nah, it's fine. It's fine. This is Yu-Gi-Oh. We gotta play Yu-Gi-Oh by Yu-Gi-Oh rules. Pass. All right, I draw. All right, this will help me pierce your defenses. I'm gonna normal summon my Drillroid. Ah. Name. Drillroid can destroy your defense vision monster. Say goodbye to Clay Man. Effect. Bye, Clay. Wow. You take 200. Okay. I'll set one card. Your move. All right. Let's draw. I just want to say I am very upset that you just have two of them. I mean, I'm guessing you're running three, but like. I mean, I mean, what's wrong with that? Nothing's wrong with it except that you're doing it. Activate brain control. Rude. I'm gonna borrow this. Uh. Let me hold that Chiron. What are you planning on doing with that thing? You know what? I don't know. I'm gonna use my compulsory evacuation device. 
Woo! Boing! Chiron's back in my hand. You madman. I don't want you getting any advantage. I know what you were planning. You're gonna kill my Droroid. I, I was going to kill your Droroid. That was that was literally the plan, and you took it from me. Still gonna kill Droroid though. Normal summon Spark Man. Oh wow. Smart actually. Okay. I didn't want to have to do it this way, but it is what it is. <sighs> okay. Here we are. You know what? It's fine because I have this guy who will temporarily kill your Clayman before probably dying himself. Ugh, Lele. Indomitable fighter Lele, 2300 attacks Clayman, kills it, and then has to go to defense position. Yay, and I can't change it. Your move. Let's draw. Mm, not useful right now. Okay, well, lucky for you, I still can't actually change my uh, guy back to attack position yet. But I will tell you something else I can do. What can you do? I can tribute him for my second saber beetle. Ah! Enter battle phase, attack you for 24. Pain and suffering. Your move. Also, my saber beetle has piercing damage, so, or piercing. Well, you already knew that I summoned. Did I, did I summon the first? I don't know if I should. Yeah, okay, I can't summon it. Uh, I saw it. I saw oh, yeah, because I discarded it. Okay. Well, it pierces, so. Mm, what can I do to stay alive? Piercing is a real problem. There's nothing you can do, do this. Nothing you can do unless you specifically have Skyscraper and a hero like Sparkman, which let's just hope you don't. If I had Boomerang, he'd be so much better. Oh yeah, I sent your boomerang to the graveyard. Activate brain control. Oh my god. My saber beetle. Yeah, I'm, look, I'm, I'm just gonna take the thing. The numbers run in my favor. Attack! Wow. Oh, okay, yeah, if you had boomerang, that would have been, well, I would have been dead, right? Because it's 500 attack? <sighs> It's only 500 and you can get your beetle back. Well, that's great because that <sighs> means I can use my beetle to win this first duel. Duelist. Battle phase. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it only took 23 turns. Okay. I learned a lesson. Tw 23? <laughs> yeah. Ooh, I get to pick. I'm going second so I can draw. Yeah, all right. I do like having cards. Yeah, cards are nice. And I don't make the same mistake I made last time either. I don't know what that mistake was exactly, but... Oh, I have a different... As long as you don't know. I have know. a different hand, you could say. I, f I think you've seen literally all the cards that are in my hand. All right, I'm going to set this card. Move. All right. Draw. I paid attention in class and learned a new strategy. Normal summon, Avion! Oh my god. Enter battle! Attack! Are you attack adhesive explosive? Wow. It equips to your Avion and will destroy it during your next standby phase. Wow. That is all, but you know. They didn't have to destroy it, this had to be attacked. It did it before damage calculation. Interesting. Next, I'm just gonna set another card because that's all I can do. Your move, which means... Well, my standby phase is on the way. Yeah, assuming this thing's not destroyed during standby. Adhesive explosive detonate. We're both dead. Like, who made you like this? Uh, I mean, I pulled it. I thought it was useful. I don't know. Luster Dragon! Wow. Let's see what this... This better not be another... Wow! <laughs> Adhesive explosive again. Equips to your Luster Dragon. Yo, what is going on here? Yeah, that's right. I have a couple of those in my deck. And I'm not ashamed of it, neither. All right, next, we're gonna normal summon. Goblin Elite Attack Force. I just assumed that this that would not be in your deck. I just assumed that would not be the case, and here we are. And we're gonna end our turn. This is the world we live in. Wow, and now my Lesser Dragon's gonna go bye-bye. Adhesive Explosive Detonate. <laughs> this world is wrong. Only a little bit. I just want everyone to know it. Macvang brain control. Rude. Taking this. Okay. He mine now as my friend. Attack! Wow. Okay. Oh, and since you took him, he can't switch. He still won't be able to like switch for me. I'm guessing. There you go. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you hold on to that. Okay. I just borrowed him. That's all right. I just borrowed him. Oh my god, my strategy is coming to haunt me a little bit. Uh. uh ooh, I can't even use that. Oh my god. Set a monster, and I can't switch, so your move. Hey. 
I'm playing it a little safe here. You could say I'm playing it safe too. Oh, you don't have a monster, okay. Uh, no, no, it's not that I don't have a monster. Oh my god, these safe. draws. Right, we're gonna change him to attack. And... Er, you know what, screw it, 22. You're so brave. What? Wow. I didn't want to take it. Now, Goblin Attack Force has, the only thing he did for you was get rid of a trap. All right, I am my turn. I was hoping that Goblin Attack Force could just get a little more damage in before he got killed, you know? What is this hand? All right, Aggravate Skyscraper. Oh, joy. Pass. Oh, wow, it's all you had, okay. No, I'm playing it safe. Biding your time, Honduras. That's the yeah, See, now you're getting it. Well, how about now I flip up my Cyber Phoenix? And enter the battle phase, attack you for 12. I don't mind that. 1,200 is a little I feel like you have not lost nearly enough life points. All right. And drop. Mm. Like, I feel like you should have lost many, many, many more life points than this. Well, a little bit of ingenuity, a little dual academy know-how. You know. A set card. Is it another Clayman, I wonder? I use Avion and Luster Dragon so far, so that's all the information you get. So it's likely a Clayman. Well, you know what? I am not taking unnecessary damage. I will change my Cyber Phoenix to defense position. In my turn. Coward! I'm not a coward, I'm a strategist. I'm planning on actually getting promoted to, uh, to Raw Yellow next semester. Well, they, did, they didn't raise cowards over here. Reveal Clayman! Oh wow, attack. that actually works. Okay, he has 800 attack. Well, Cyber they Phoenix lets draw me draw, card, so. Uh, okay, I don't, I can't. Okay. This is a cool card. Yeah, dual Academy and raise a coward over here. All right, I'm well, about that life. If I can just draw a specific card, there's a specific card that I really would love to pull off and it would actually help me unbrick this hand, so. Um, Which is crazy because you got we both have we both have plenty of cards here. Yeah, I have cards. I can I can use cards. Summon Drillroid. Oh, the Clayman Killer. Well, in this case, it's just and killing him in battle. In All right, destroy your Clayman. Now I actually have to set, or else I'll have to discard things, which actually could maybe be useful. Huh? What does that mean? Okay, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna end my turn. I discard my Doom Dozer. Oh, he's okay. All right. I, I, <laughs> I don't know what yeah, you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just discarding him because I don't want him. That's all. Yeah, you just don't want him, huh? I just don't want him. Uh, too many bugs got into all my right, well, room at the, uh, at the dorms. So what? Oh, okay. Dark nice. Factory. Let's get my heroes back to my hand. Yay! More annoying heroes. Surely with a hand of like what eight cards, you can do something big here, Hondula. All right, Avion. Attack! Screw you. you. Said do something big, right? Activate this, my Chthonian Blast. What is that? Yeah. What the heck? When my monster gets destroyed, I destroy the monster with the lowest attack, and then we both take damage equal to half of its attack. I probably should have saved that now that huh. I think about it. Hey, hey, man, that's, 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 that's your business, man. You know, that's your business. I'm gonna set a card phase down so I don't have to discard, and I'll end my turn. Okay, there's only one monster I think I can even. Oh my god. You know oh, what? He must have drew the good stuff. I'm going to. In my turn, which means I have to discard another card. I'll discard my Saber Beetle. What is happening? Listen, there's there's a, there's strategy at work here, and you'll find out soon. I mean, I, I believe you. I believe you. Speaking of strategy, activating Dark Factory. Bro, do you? So are you? So you're just playing normal Elemental Hero <laughs> beatdown? <laughs> there's not even a polymerization this in your not deck. The plan. It turns out you don't actually run it. <laughs> Come on, that's the dragon. This strategy has taken me much further than it ever should have. Okay, well, I... Well, just prepare yourself for what's coming. That's all I'm gonna say. Hey, look, man, you know, I, I, you know, it is what it is. Whatever, do what you gotta do, all right? Cause, oh, I'm gonna do. You know. I'm gonna do what I gotta do. Check this out. Whenever you're Oh, yeah, I gotta pitch turn. something. Oh, what do I pitch? I don't know I'm gonna pitch this one. Oh, no. Oh no, I'll do it. We'll pitch, we'll pitch Avion. Yeah, you'll just get it back with another Dark Factory, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so what's the matter? All right, check this shit out. Special summon my Cyber Dragon, since you have a monster and I don't. Wow. You had to one-up my Luster Dragon with a Cyber Dragon. Banish two insects, special summon Doom Dozer. Also in attack position. Woo! I'm about to get hurt, y'all. This isn't enough to kill you, but it is enough to hurt you, and that's something. I will definitely be hurt. All right, we're gonna enter battle phase. Yeah. Cyber Dragon attack! 
And Doom Dozer attack directly for 2,800. And also sends a card from the top here. Yes! I hit brain oh, control. Oh, brain control. That, yeah, that works. That, I'm good with that. That's cool. And we're going to set one card face down and in. All right. Here we go. Useless. I mean, great card. Fire card. Would not ask for a better card. Could not ask for a better card. I'm only playing the best cards in this game. Yeah. Mm, the numbers are not in my favor. No, they are not. Got a 21 and a 28. Yeah, yeah, that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. And I don't want to hear any if, ands, or buts about it. All right, bye, Doom Dozer. <laughs> he was the bigger one, you know, like. It was fun. I did what I had to do. I don't want to hear it. It was fun about it. Oh, this won't really work. Oh, it won't work. Ah, that was a mistake. Well, don't see myself coming out of this. We shall see. Draw one card for turn. And enter battle. Cyber Dragon attacks. Oh, Rottweiler again, huh? But he doesn't have a power. Oh, anymore. yeah, okay, yeah. I, I keep, it, it always, like, glows, but it like, doesn't... Okay. Because it's attempting to activate, and then it doesn't resolve. Okay, I will set one and pass turn. All right. I don't know what's going to draw me out of this. Yeah, I don't either, to be completely nothing honest. Nothing draws me out of this. No, nothing saves me. Normal summon, Clayman. Enter battle. Wow, you so Hey man, attack. I'm not gonna let you self destruct yourself. Activate Sakuretsu armor. Oh, I actually got a car off the board for that? That was awesome. Yeah, that's right. I'm, if anyone's gonna kill part you, of it's avarice. gonna be me. Wait, you have part of Avarice? Where's that from? Yep, I was trying to get five monsters in grave. Oh, you I hadn't given up yet. <laughs> you pulled that? I thought you were trying to commit, like, Sapoku yep. or whatever. Sapuko. Nope. And I drew a Fisher. Get out of here, Cyber Dragon. Asshole. I. That was supposed to be... You can kill me, but you, got, you can't kill me with that. Wow, that was supposed to be, like, like, like a bit. Okay. All right, well, this could do the job. I mean, it, pro it probably will. It probably will do the job. Like, Normal the summon. Probably done. Chiron the Mage. Yeah, that'll do it. We're going to play it safe. We're going to use Chiron's effect. And destroy my Skyscraper. And destroy your face down card. Wait, you had an you pitching an MST? Well, it's basically doing the job of MST, so Chiron attack directly. Just use the MST. <laughs> <laughs> Which means uh. I win this duel, duelist. Okay, well that does conclude the duel. So uh, good games, duelist. I get a shot at one rare card in your deck, don't I? Is it? Does it have to be rare? Cause like I mean, it doesn't. The have rares to be in, the, rare. in Shadow of Infinity were not great. That, that's true. I would like your pot of avarice. My pot? That's right. I want your pot of avarice duelist add it to my wow. collection. I mean, hey, if you think another duel win, it didn't really do much for you anyway. So great. That goes one of my ways of recycling my, my fusion <laughs> monsters. If I ever make them, that is. Yeah, maybe. I mean, it's that or brain control. May I take brain control? That could. Be... You know what? That, yeah, yeah, I want brain control. I want brain control, actually. Oh, so now you can have two brain control. Yeah, that's right. I, I want it. I I have plans for your brain control. We'll just put it that way. Fine. All right, and with that, <laughs> that concludes episode four of Cypher Slackers. Cypher Slackers Reboot, Master Duel Edition. Yeah, let me know uh, down in the comments, what did you guys think of this episode, this new format, any other rules, changes, feedback that we can incorporate? We'd be happy to. I think it'll be fun, doing it a Master Duel is much more affordable. And stay tuned for the next episode when I take it all back. Hopefully we'll you, guys you guys enjoy. in the next one. Past turn.